Right, hello. Is it? Are you back? I'm back. Am I in HD now? Is that working? Oh, let's turn that mic down a bit. Um, so yeah, this is a brand new setup. I've had to like reinstall everything from scratch on a new PC with new settings. You have to tell me if anything is wrong. Is it, are the levels wrong? Are the resolutions wrong? Now look, you can see fucking HD piss room. Ah, the Yogscast raid. Thank you, Yogscast, for the raid. It's so dense. You can see all the pixels. Oh, we got holes. We got holes everywhere. Um, this base actually needs a bit, a bit of loving. Last week I was a bit slack, and just, just pressing fast forward because I was getting annoyed. So I kind of need. Look, this guy's sleeping outdoors. Um. So we're going to have to do a scan of the base. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do a tour, a base tour and a scan at the same time. We'll wait till daytime. Um, can I turn this off? How do I get rid of the learning helper? Uh, in here? Oh my god, there's going to be so many things I'm going to have to change like that. Little, little tweaks. Um... Doesn't pixelate so bad when I move around. Woo! Awesome. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to have any stream problems now. It's so, so this is like such a big upgrade over what I had before. The old PC was, well, it was like over ten years old. It was a real piece of crap. Um, middle column. Yeah, we could handle. We could handle three hundred dudes now. I think. I think you're right. Um. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe we won't get like a little five minute loading sequence every time we get attacked. That'd be pretty good. Um, right, let's have a quick check. I'm going to pause and I'm just going to do the rounds on the base. Like, we, I also put a texture pack on and I don't know how I feel about it. On one hand, I think it looks pretty cool and on another, I'm like, mm, it's different and I don't like it. What do you guys reckon? Um... Let me know what you think. So we're just looking for get like there's one. And because we don't have enough wood, it's not instantly replacing them. Um so we're gonna have to manually go around and like check every hole. Probe. Probe every hole. Uh oh look, there's a door. Um because our base got kind of wrecked. We got attacked pretty bad before. Um Okay, I think we've got all of that. Uh, this is all good. Obviously, the, the, the golden piss room is fine. And I think I think we're good now. Okay, I'll let them roll. Um. Everything looks good apart from that floor texture. Yeah, I'm concerned. Like, a lot of it looks good. I don't like this concrete texture. I might, it might make me actually rip out all the concrete because it looks so horrible. And, um... Is there an option to, like, turn off the zones? There we go. That's a bit nicer. Everything does look dirty, doesn't it? But it's kind of nice. I don't know. I like maybe... Mm, I'm torn. We'll leave it on for a bit and we'll see if it grows on me. Um, have I considered playing Space Haven on stream? Harry and I played it, actually, um, a while back on the Ox channel. Warmaster's gone into a daze because his friend Walrus died. Fair enough. Um, if you add the chat event mod, we will send you 300 dudes in the form of 150 cows. <laughs> Doodle is milk in Hindi. Perfect. That's just what I needed. Um, thank you, Baron Von Uppercase, for subscribing. Thank you, Felonious Tooth. Thank you, Tickle Log. More Ben Pixels, the better. You're welcome. Uh, Darren F., thank you. They say, beautiful HD Golden Throne. I can feel the Bemperor's Light even better. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Increase Rimworld settings. Oh. 
I didn't even think about that. Um, there Are there graphic settings for RimWorld? I don't think there are. Just resolution, right? Do you have a bit more UI? That hasn't changed anything, has it? Hmm. Thank you, uh, Tyres HTML, and says Ben, you made me start learning RimWorld. Oh, I hope you didn't learn from watching me. I'm only only semi competent at this game. I say the higher quality you run the game, the lower your face the webcam resolution. What? Oh, a masterwork. Oh, we've made a masterwork Krieg pattern rebreather. Amazing. Why? Why are you guys wearing helmets? I told you to stop. Stop wearing helmets. Um. The Imperial? Imperial armor? No. Imperial headgear? Sometimes it is a nightmare to find stuff in this game. Uh, is it is it headgear? No. Uh, is it Imperial Apriel? Uh, Between armor. Okay, Imperial headgear then. Yeah. Helmet, Terminator helmet, Ultramarine. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. I'll take him a minute to sort it out. Uh, door in hospital needs replacing. Oh, um, oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please tell me if you spot anything like that, because all my meds are gonna rot. Now that if I keep leaving stuff outdoors. Um, a boom rat. Oof. No, we're getting rid of that. We're just getting rid of that. I do not need a little explosive landmine walking around my base. Sorry, boom rat. Came to the wrong town. Uh, but while we're talking about names, actually, like animals, we've got we've got robots. All our robots got massacred last week, so we need to rename the new robots. Oh fuck's sake! Death Row killed the boom rat, and it fucking exploded on him. Of course it did. Um. Oh god, there was a hole in the perimeter wall as well. Gotta check the whole perimeter now. Uh, li little us. holes. Uh, no, okay, maybe that was just the one. That looks alright. Jeremiah von Pringleton says, Can I be a skull, please, Bon Bon? Okay, what I'll do is I'll grab everyone who's donated. And subscribed today, and I'll put you on the wheel, and we'll spin the wheel. Huzzah. Um, so what day is it? It's the 1st of July. Okay, so we've got, we got some donos. Copy them into the sheet. And we'll grab the subscribers. I'll copy you onto a sheet. And... Perfect. And we'll spin that wheel. Do 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 do. Twelve. That's Javonsky. Welcome, Javonsky. You are a basic Imperial servo skull. Welcome. Um, Jev on ski. Boom. Did that, did that work? Yeah. There he is. Sleeping with the cows. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Um, the Jonzo has subscribed. Thank you, the Jonzo. And says, bought me up after a whole year of serving the Bemperor. Oh my God. Infidel Tech also subscribed. Says, get that rice, yo. Thank you. Well, we'll put you both on the list. Uh, and we'll, we'll keep we'll keep spinning that wheel. We'll see who gets to be the bots. Seems like the only fair way of doing it. 
Oh, finished a research. Um, right. Uh, right, random number generator. Here we go. Uh, spin the wheel. Number three. Number three is Kurashishi. Thank you, Kurashishi. I did read your message out a moment ago. You are a bot. No map. Oh, wow, you're right. Yeah, where's the mini map? God, I totally hadn't noticed that. You make a really good point. Um, why is there no mini map? Uh, it's not disabled. Just minimized, you think? Lower button on the lower right. Hmm. Okay, we'll load back in. We'll find it. Um, aha, there it is. Right, okay, I've got to change all the settings, though, to match what I had last time. So knowing it doesn't cloud save my settings. Um, I've forgotten how I, what it was before, to be totally honest. I'll have to do. What's this red dot? Oh, that's the Hulk. The Orc Rock. In 12 hours, it's going to make more Orcs. Um, oh, Kurashishi says, I'm a dude, so can you re-roll? Okay, you got it, man. You got it. Let's re-roll. Boop. Ten. So let's finish naming these robots, and then we'll get on those Orcs. Um... So, a Mark II Imperial Servo Skull, you're going to be Tours HTML. Tires? Tires HTML, there you go. You're the, um, you're the kitchen bot. Welcome. Uh, right, then we've got this guy. A Mark I bot. It's Johnny! Johnny but Johnny 5 is alive. It's not Johnny 5. It's Johnny 2112. We made a lot of Johnny bots. And... Oh. Alright, this one is going to be... In that wheel. This one's Warmaster, although Warmaster's already got a man, so maybe we'll, we'll give that to someone else. Uh, let's take a log. Boom. And then lastly, we've got the little Roomba, the vacuum bot. Um, that's going to be... Baron Von Uppercase. What a name for a little Roomba. Can't fit the whole thing in. It's just Baron Von Upper now. You lost your case. And I think... Is that it? Have we got any animals to name? We're selling the calves off because we can't afford to keep infinite animals. So, yeah. Awesome. And that's it. Okay, and thank you, Bonsai. Oh, thank you, Bonsai Butler, for resubscribing. Thank you, um, uh, Miss Miss Two Quacks, for using your Twitch Prime. That's very cool. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, uh, Momotin, for subscribing and saying it's a great day to purge some heretics. Uh, what's this new texture mod? That's a good question. I've forgotten. It's called. Uh, it's called flawed. It's uh, or maybe it's better walls than floors. 
I've got both of them. I think it's better walls and floors. And flawed is the thing that gives me the hazard stripes. Uh, oh, okay, we've got some... We've got happy, happy star pictures. Brilliant. We got, um... Okay, it's going to be better. That's fine. I got quests. Right, first of all, have we got any active quests? No, we don't. Okay. So the two optional quests we've got are um, the Blue Sovereignty want us to send us 45 hives. And I like that. Hmm. Uh, Shezu says, I would be happy to feed cannons. So if you, gi if you give anything, I'm content with it. Tickle me to battle, almighty Bempra. Amen. Well, thank you very much. Um, or they want to borrow five, four of my boys. Um, we haven't had any honor for a long time. Maybe we should start grinding that rep again. We could send four boys off for some honor. We can do that. Um, we could actually send uh, like all of our non-combatants, I suppose, or anyone who's sad. Have we got anyone who's like real sad? Because um, then they're like not our problem for a while. Um, Maybe Red Fog? He's got a dead friend. Uh, I thought we had a guy who had loads of their friends die. Warmaster. Warmaster's pretty sad right now. Um, Alpha Cat's in pain. Hmm. Gonna be in pain forever, friend. Um... God, everyone's sad about Walrus. He was much loved in the colony. Okay, I'm gonna just send the three, um, three non-combatants. And, uh, I don't know. Alpha Cat, sure. Maybe that's sometimes what you need, though. If you're feeling a bit sad and you know, like everything's the same, you know, change is as good as a rest, right? Go somewhere else, meet some new people, have some exercise, get out in the sun. Might might genuinely be good for them. Depends what kind of labour it is, I suppose. Like, I know um, I don't do it very often because I can't be asked, but... When I'm feeling tired and low, doing something like, um, doing like a job in the house. So like something active, like, um, clearing the garden or like, um, sorting out, like re reorganizing a room. It's like manual work. And when you've finished, you actually feel good because you've achieved something. You've moved around more than you normally do. And, um, it's just a change of pace. It genuinely makes you feel better, but it's not something you ever actually, I don't know. It's one of those things, isn't it? Like, you know, it'll help you feel better, but you still can't be asked to do it. Um, we should put some paths in, because we've got all this gross floor now. We should have a little, um, a little reassess. What do we need to do here? Because obviously the next step is to get some gene seed. Uh, well, yeah, I did that, um, just last weekend, actually. My shower, ever since I moved into this house like about a year and a half ago, and the shower's always been bad. Um, it's just one of those cheap little wall-mounted electric showers. Um, and it's been getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And then eventually it just broke. And it would it would get too hot and then too cold and then too hot and too cold. Um, so I decided, I'm fixing it. I'm going to do it. Um, so I went in there. I turned, you know, was very careful. 
turned off the power, turned off the water, took it apart, examined it, and I was like, oh god, am I going to have to get a plumber in? Am I going to have to buy a new shower? Oh, this is the worst. And, um, and then I just took it apart and looked at it, and I figured out two things were broken. Um, one thing was the dial on front that you turn. It's got like a bunch of cogs and gears and teeth. And the, te the plastic teeth in the cogs had like worn out. So when you turned the dial, it wasn't turning the cogs. And so the dial had no relation to the, the actual set. Um, so I ordered a new front with a new dial on it. Cost like 20 pounds. Um, and the filter that the water comes through was completely clogged. Because I guess it had never been changed in like however many years. So it just scraped out the filter that was like tucked inside the pipes. Put that back in. Remounted the shower. And with those just two little changes, suddenly... The shower's working better than it ever has done. It's like brand new. And I felt real good. I, did, I got a job done. And it made me feel like, super productive. It was very nice. Ooh, plasma weapons. So that's my Ben's tip of the day. You want to feel better? Get, get something that's been bothering you for a long time and you've just kind of got used to it. Do you, like, go, go head on. Try and figure it out. Fix it up, because... Man, it was worth it. I wish I'd done it a year ago. But I just put up with the mild inconvenience until it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Um. I don't even know what I'm researching now. Uh. I've lost all idea of what the hell we were doing. What's our long-term plants here. Um, right, we're going to rework the kill box. That's part of our plan, wasn't it? Um, okay, we should probably just disassemble everything and start from scratch, right? What actually needs changing? We need to be bigger. Um, make money to buy gene seed. We've not even had the option to buy gene seed for a really long time. Um, yeah, we'll tell them to mine silver. The diaper needs changing. Gross. I hate that. I hate that the most. Um, the pro part of the problem is I can't actually move. Oh, no, these guns can move, but the LAS cannon turret can't be moved. Which is, means I'm going to have to disassemble it. Which is a pain. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's just start from scratch. Because this was designed a long time ago. Um, this was back before we had turrets. This just needs a complete rework, I think. I mean, to make it much, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, please, please know 300 dudes. <laughs> right now, while we reconstruct everything. Uh, and... Are there Chaos Dreadnoughts in this mod pack? I believe there are. I played this mod a couple of years ago and there were Chaos Dreadnoughts. So unless they've like taken them out since then. There was a bug hive. Was there? I thought we killed all the bugs. 
Wouldn't they show up on the minimap? Um, to be enemies, right? Oh, there's one grot. Sure. Yeah, we'll kill that rock in a minute. We're going to re reconstruct the, um, the kill box first. Um... Actually, you know what? Should we just get rid of the... Let's get rid of the barbed wire for now. Uh, we've got some lights, right? Uh... Some lights up here. Uh, we got enough limestone for this? Yeah. Awesome. Oh god, roof collapse. What? This thing isn't even meant to have a roof. Guys, please. God, I always forget to check that. Every single time. Um. Let's expand. Sometimes this game is so fiddly. Look, just expand the devil stuff. And oh my god, fine. Okay, keep it as a separate thing. Whatever. Uh, right, is this indoors now? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Um... Right then. Uh, security. Uh, do we still want to have a las cannon just in case, like something heavy attacks? May as well have a twin link las cannon, right? If you're gonna go las, go big. Okay. Um. And then we can have a nice little metal tile. Finish that off a bit nicer. Um, did you miss any painted toys? No, not yet. I've just been redesigning the kill box. Welcome. Thank you, uh, Canadian Bacon, who's just on a 16-month streak. That's awesome. Um, thank you, Ram Dumbot. He says these streams are great because they are Sharky and Shark. Oh, man. Thank you. Um... Have I seen anything about Phoenix Point recently? You've been playing with the new expansion, enjoying it a lot. Yeah, now that the year one edition is out, I've been meaning to go back. I really want to want to try playing more Phoenix Point. Um, I just haven't yet. Been a bit busy. Um, so what's the minimum range on these things? And the maximum range is like all the way over there. Holy shit. Okay. Um, what do is, uh, I think we'll just seal up to make this one long corridor of doom. Um, Although now, where are the, um, where are the man's going to stand? Well, there's a couple of spots. Fake 
And then we'll concrete this because it's cheap and easy. Um, and then I guess we'll do this. Well, now we have to build out a like rock crete, right? Because we don't want the heavy bolters just wrecking everything. Um, what do we want? This imperial wall made out of rock crete. Um, here we'll have a little gap. Here. Um, put some more rock crete in here. Um, oh, you know what we could do actually? We could put a door in here, right? And then like replace that with um fortification walls here and just have like a nasty little kill box that when people come in if it's starting to get too much we can like run a dude in here like and enfilade them um i think that sounds good uh, God, we've done jetpacks already. God, everything research is a bit too quick, to be honest. Got too many, too many smart boys. Uh. Wow, they're really going for it. God, we've got a we've got a rogue trader. We got him, we got him, we got him. Uh hang on, what I can't sell them anything. Most of my stuff isn't hmm. Okay, uh right, so I'll sell them the baby donkey. Um I shall buy all their components. Uh, Faith is, our seed. is that it? They just don't want most of my stuff for some reason. And I don't want most of their stuff. Oh, we can give them some kidneys. Kidneys, lungs, hearts, livers. Couple of brains. Sure. Uh, give them an elephant tusk. Um, I'll buy a couple more jump packs. That'd be fun. Get a whole squad of jump pack boys. Give them a shit statue. And. I guess that'll do. Uh, buy squig. Have they got a squig? I don't know, I missed, oh, they have got a squig. <gasps> our squig died. Naren Lord was our pet squig, and he died it. Should we get a new one? Bulk traders love orc leather. Okay. Squig. Cool. Let's do it. Now, we do have orbital... Orbital trade beacons, right? Or the pa has the power been cut to them? Is that why I got that message? No, that one's plugged in. Um, that one's plugged in. And those ones are plugged in. Okay, that should be working. Um, Uh, 
mine that out. Let's get some power in here as well. Um, um, what else can we do? Demonic infestation. Oh, uh, right, bro. Um. Oh, that's miles away. Okay, let's finish making this kill box, people. Um. But are they, are they, are they going to kill the orcs? Is this like the perfect win-win? I think they are going to go fight the orcs. Right, what are we dealing with here? We've got 21 warp rifts. Oh my god. Um, we've got two flamers of zinch. We've got three plague bearers. We've got three screamers. We've got four demonettes. Okay, let's see if they fight the orcs. Quest expires in 20 hours. Oh, yeah, but that's fine. We don't want to do that quest. Um, oh, yeah, we need to actually. Um, We have turrets in here? Did I forget to put turrets in here? Yep, of course I did. Okay. Um, security. So we'll just have like one here, and one here, that'll be fine. Orders. Chop that wood. And obviously, no build roof. No build roof on any of this. Um, okay. Uh, well, they haven't seen each other yet. They haven't seen each other yet. Um. Oh, here we go, here we go. Right, we've got a plague bearer fighting a heavy shooter knob. Ooh. I did nothing. Nothing at all. How long do these warp rifts spawn? We've got two days before the rift spawn more demons. Okay. Okay, this should be enough time to get this this built. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Look, so the demons attacked the dropship. <laughs> There's so many boys. There's 39 grots here. There's 42 orc boys. There's 11 knobs. Three war bosses. Oh, here we, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> here we go! They just. They're just zerging in. They're ignoring all the demonettes. They're just going, going in there.
This is madness. Oh my god! The fuck is this robot doing? Oh god, it's gonna get more chunks. Chunks of stone. Jeez, okay. Let's suspend stone cutting for now then. Uh, oh yeah, it went unlimited radius, that's why. Okay, there we go. Um. They're getting in there, let the orcs are into the warp rifts. Oh, thanks guys. Very helpful. Okay, we've got a few stragglers though coming for the base. Um All right, everyone get in. And the robots um to stay in the base for now. Uh, God, oh, oh. Okay, he escaped to throw. Good work. Uh, oh, God, something's happening. Oh, no, what is this? Something else, something big. Something big cometh. Is it chat? The chat coming to the rescue? 300 dudes? <laughs> Maybe 300 dudes. I hope not. I'm not ready for this. Um. God, I thought I honestly thought my new PC would not not lag, but I guess RimWorld is not built to handle this much nonsense happening at once. Whew. We'll find out. Well, I missed a lot of messages while all this madness was going on. Let me scroll back. Um. Uh, uh, Vary asks if uh, Dark Souls is good on the Switch. Yeah, I completed it on the Switch, actually, um, because I had more time for playing Switch than PC, because I played it on the bus back when I was getting the bus every day. Um, and no, I'd recommend. Dark Souls on the Switch works really well. I definitely recommend getting a Pro controller rather than the Joy-Cons. I didn't, didn't get on with the Joy-Cons, but once I got a proper controller, very good. I'd recommend. Um, and uh, Zara has subscribed. So it's finally got my first shot of the vaccine. And to celebrate, what's well, better than a sub to the bumper? Thank you very much, Zara. I appreciate the sub. And grats on your vaccine. Can't wait to get my second jab. Uh, Duke of Gloucester. Well, okay, hang on. Friendlies. <gasps> it's the Aurelians. The Aurelians are coming! Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Why am I sending in so many? What is this? Chat, it is chat! Is they sent 73 dudes! They got John Bob, they got the Joan, uh, the Jonzo, we got Deacon, we got Troy Bone, Cheesy Treat, Drago Drake. Mahons, Hairy, Protein, <laughs> Asterad, Troybone. Oh, everyone's here. I can't even, there's so many of you, I can't even see you all. Reporting for Judy. Get in there, boys. Go get them. Oof. So the barbed wire doesn't last very long. That's one thing we learnt. Nor does the rock creep. Jeez. Okay, here comes chat. I imagine chat's friendly fire is going to kill more than anything else. Here they go. 
Who got the kill? Uh, oh shit. Lots of friendly fire. That's what happened. It was Deacon. Deacon IX's assault rifle. Brought down an orc. Oh no! The war boss! Oh, shields deployed though. Good shield work. Yeah, it's just absorbing all of the war boss's fire. Oh, Fipsy, look out! Oh, who brought down the war boss? Uh, Grump. Grump got him in the leg, and Nag got him in the ribs, and he bled out. Oh, the base. Uh oh. Uh oh! Um. Hmm. Right, robots, please. Uh, stay away, stay away. Robots. Uh. No, Beta Cat. No. Oh, shit. Kurashishi's down. How did that happen? Missing a spine caused Kurashishi to drop. The war boss got him. This, um, this rockcrete wall has not worked at all, guys. It didn't work at all. Um. Chat, where are you? Rescue me, chat. Oh, there we go. Drago Drake, get in there. Um, the crops. The crops are super on fire. Um, this is pretty bad. This is real bad. No, we don't have any res serum left. Um... But we can put him in the freezer. Um. Maybe, maybe he can return to us. Don't put him in these ones. Where are you taking him now? The dumping stockpile. Perfect. Um, right, we're going to have to make this part of the home base, aren't we? Zone, home. Um, that's part of the home. The kill box is part of the home. These walls are part of the home. Um. Okay, guys, please. Everyone just needs to do something about this. Uh, make a kill box a home. Yeah. <laughs> um. And also, we need to finish off all these orcs that are still alive. There's no option for that. I must have not reinstalled that mod. Okay, did you destroy the Space Hulk, guys? No, you didn't. Okay. 
Yeah, chat, could you put the fire out, guys? Is that... Is that alright? Can you help? Please? Uh, you're fighting chrysalids in the original XCOM and you need tactical advice. Oh, chrysalids are tough. They're really tough. Um, don't send anyone out alone. Um, check your corners. Get motion scanners. They really help. Um, and inch around quite slowly, I guess. Um... And expect that you're going to lose some guys. Didn't know we'd have a kill box. Why the new one? We wanted to make it better. The old kill box was small and not as good. The plan was for the new kill box to make it newer and killier. Um, and it was pretty killy. But I tell you what, this, this rock creep was shit. Um... Which one's stronger? Let's make Plascrete instead. Um. Oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're slowly putting that fire out. Okay. What are my thoughts on ogres showing up in Warhammer? Am I allowed to talk about that? Is that public knowledge now? Or are you trying to trick me? Um, but yeah, I like ogres. Ogres are cool. I look forward to using ogres. I think that'd be really fun. Who doesn't like ogres, you know? Ogres are cool. Ah. Did they reveal a couple of hours ago? Cool. Yeah, it's exciting stuff, isn't it? You may find out. Tom and Ben may be having a look at them quite soon. Wait and see. <laughs> Ogres of Brogus. <laughs> right then, so this is going to take a little while. I'm just going to leave everyone on cleanup duty. Although, actually, we need to send a squad out. Um... Well, first of all, everyone's healing as well. Holy shit. Um. Faust, get in there. Cool Jedi. You're healed up. Crimson. Oh, oh god, he lost a lung. He lost a lung! Um. You need to get healed as well. Right, then we'll grab, like, Crimson and... Red Fog. And Ollie Yeet. Go finish off that rock. <laughs> Jay Wood, thank you for subscribing. They say Tom is a massive ogre. Tom fucking loves ogres. He has an ogre army. Ogres are one of his favourite things in Warhammer. Tom's going to be very excited to to do ogre stuff. Uh, just carry this stuff home, please. Yep, 
Yeah, I must be missing one of the mods because I can't. There's no finish off option. Which is a bit annoying. Jeez, that guy's tough. Okay, well, we'll wait for everyone to fix this space up. Um, all the Utes in the days. Oh dear. Uh, HL Mad Larkin, thanks for subscribing. It says happy rimming. Chump me up. Thank you very much. Um, Sam Gamesh has, donated, has subscribed as well and says for the Emperor. Thank you, Sam Gamesh. Um, who else? There's a few that came in. Uh, where did we get to? Uh, Major Casualties subscribed. Thank you, Major Casualties. Uh, Nick Zulu used their Twitch Prime. Thank you. Uh, Curzon subscribed for 13 months. Thank you, Curzon. Um... I'm up to date on the subs. Meanwhile, on the donos, uh, North Soul donated $27.50, which is super generous. Thank you, North Soul. And says, higher game resolution equals higher donations. That's how it works, right? Bam, you got it. You got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That'll help. Help me pay off this PC <laughs> very nicely. Um, Duke of Gloucester donated fifteen dollars. Thank you, Duke of Gloucester, and says Happy Canada Day, Bedger, Emperor. Um, celebrating no longer being part of your country. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a day of work for me, though. Put me on the list or something. I do like robots. If I get a choice. Oh, well, thank you very much, Duke of Gloucester. You are on the list. And Happy Canada Day, eh? That's very cool. Canada is a cool place. Um, what are my PC specs? That's a good question. I actually don't know because I asked TJ. I asked TJ to um, make make a good PC for me, and and he did because he's a kind boy. Um, I can probably like open up the control panel and have a look. Um, oh wow! But before we do that, Darreneth has given out ten gift subs. Thank you very much, Darreneth. That's amazing. You're you're amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, right, let me get these specs for you. Um, <laughs> could it be that TJ just put all your old stuff in a new tower and it's a placebo effect? <laughs> that sly dog. But no, then I would have a port for my old my old keyboard would, would plug into that motherboard, wouldn't it? Unless he did that just to spite me. Swapped out the ports. Uh, God, I'm actually struggling to find where they keep the system specs. Here we go. System. Is this it? It's got to make sure this doesn't have um, any IP information on it or anything. I'll just read it out. Um, so it's got an i7 uh, processor with 10,700K CPU, 3.8 gigahertz. Sounds good. Um, it's got 32 gig of RAM. Um, it's got, where's the, oh, doesn't have the, um, graphics card on there. Hang on, let me open up GeForce. Um, why doesn't GeForce tell me what graphics card I've got? I used to be really good at computers. Back in the day, I used to build my own PCs. I used to like fix everyone else's PCs when they broke. But that was like back on Windows XP, and um, I've just not been—I've not kept up. I don't know where everything is on Windows 10. They hide it. They hide all the options, um, and I just haven't haven't needed to fiddle around with them as much. So I just haven't got used to where they are. Uh, Where's just the list of all the hardware? Task manager. Is it in task manager? Performance. Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, sorry guys, it's a bit of a beef, bit of a beefster. It's a um, NVIDIA RTX 3070. It's a big one. It's 
There you go. So yeah, I treated myself. Because I've not had a new PC for a thousand years. Like, literally the PC I was streaming on last week had a VGA monitor plugged into it with a PS2 keyboard in it. And it couldn't run XCOM 2 and stream at the same time. So, about time. About time to go big. Big boy times. Um, I got very lucky because what happened was we um, the office was upgrading a bunch of the PCs um, in the studio because a few of them were like really old. So um, we talked to a PC supplier and they said if we bought X amount of PCs, they'd guarantee like graphics cards because they obviously only had, they only get so many graphics cards. Um, they're in short supply at the moment. And so when the Yogscast bought in bulk, they said, okay, if you buy... 10 PCs in the next six months. Um, we'll make sure you definitely get the graphics cards, like top of the queue. Um, um, and so I just, I piggybacked onto that and said, can I just buy one and stick it on with the Obscasts order? And they said yes. So I got to kind of skip the queue on graphics cards. Which is, I'm very lucky, because they're basically impossible to find at the moment. So I'm pretty... Pretty happy about that. Um, all right, what are we doing? We need. What do we need? We need to make the better, the better walls. Plascrete walls. Try that. Take me into battle. <laughs> that was kind of for Har Mr. Harvey J to give you a piggyback. Yeah, it was. It was. Sometimes, sometimes knowing people is very, very useful. And it sucks. That's not the way the world should work. But it just, it just is, isn't it? That's just the way it works. It's not what you know. It's who you know. This is going to take forever to sort all this out. Um. Oh, they killed all the alpacas. Oh, well, that's more meat. More meat to eat. At least we didn't have to fight the demons. Yeah, that could be more... Right, I'm not going to actually research anything for a little while. Remind me to put some research back on in a bit. But right now, I'm actually thinking... Um, I need the manpower more than I need the uh, the research done. I need people building, working. Maybe a shield for the side window. Yeah, where are shields actually? How do I get shields? Are they vanilla tech? Um, shields. Hmm. Right, where were we? We've got a bunch of donuts to read through. Um, so yeah, happy Canada Day, Duke of Gloucester. Thank you very much. Um... A rackle. Use their prime. Thank you. And oh, so I feel like I definitely missed some. Um. Path Strider. Thank you. Lockvic has donated. Thank you, Lockvic. And says, uh, thanks for the stream. Gene seeds are a pain. I just killed ten Astartes last night and only got one. Use that cork. That always gets me. Like, every time. Oof. <laughs> Those bastards. 
Okay, where where are they coming? Oh, they're all over the shop. We've even got one landing in the base. Holy moly. Um Okay, everyone get ready. Get ready for kill. It's a heavy shooter boy. Attack! Give him the melters, Crimson. Boom. Oh my god, just evaporated the body! <laughs> um Oh, hang on, bring the robots home. Uh oh. Tickle log. Tickle log is behind enemy lines. Oh, and so is Javonsky. He's got no. Oh, Javonsky's being mobbed by squigs. Are they all squigs? No, there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I need to put something in so we can't do that. Okay, we, we might have to stop using heavy bolters. They are ridiculous. They just... They just blow everything up. Um... So many dead squigs. I mean, it's good Dakar. It's kind of too good. Like, look at all that barbed wire and um, plascrete they've just, like, blown through. Oof. Oh, they've set everything on fire again. Come on, dudes. Please. We did lose some animals. Oh, some robots, rather. Oh, they can be rescued, though. <gasps> oh, it's raining. It's raining. It's okay. Right. Um, Pez. The Pez. Please rescue. Oh, someone's already on it. Okay. Looks like everyone's going to get rescued. Oh, no. Tickle Log died. Shit. Okay. We've got a dead Tickle Log. I'll have to bring him back. Um... New lovers. Cool Jedi. It's been flirting with Aaron James. Oh my. Um where's Aaron James? He's the um the refugee. Cool Jedi flirted by playfully making fun of her sense of duty. Aaron James became aroused and agreed to become their lover. Oh my god, they they chat about botched surgeries as well. Gross. I uh, talked about turnips. Gabbed about poker. Sure. Okay, cool Jedi. I'm a player. That's cool, cool Jedi's bed. Oh, here you go. You can share this one. It's unowned, apparently. Um, Aaron James. Boop. And... Cool Jedi. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your wonderful life together. Orders. Wow. Uh. All right, just take off party evenings. We don't need them. Yeah, the allow mod, the allow all mod seems to be broken. I'm going to have to, like, reinstall it or something. Oh, shit. Bell and Moggies. Oh, two brave chat warriors. They died. They died it. Right. Uh, what are we cremating here? Just all human corpses. Sure. 
Um, We do need a new lung for someone. And those corpses are too old. We'll have to get some fresh meat. All right, well, these guys get on with it. I've got some messages to read. Uh, Lokvik, sorry, you got interrupted. You killed 10 Astartes and only got one gene seed. Use that core extractor for silver and hopefully buy them in bulk from rogue traders. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. They're just not turning up. All the rogue traders we get are Xenotech traders. It's annoying. Hopefully I will have one soon. Um, Bunnies subscribed. Thank you, Bunnies. And says, I spent all my money on confectionery from, from my childhood. Hurrah for free prime. <laughs> Thank you, Bunnies. There's something really fun about going back and just trying out all the stuff you used to eat as a kid. It's a fun little nostalgia trip. Enjoy. Koroshenko gave out gift subs. I'm pretty sure I read that out, but if I didn't, thank you again, Koroshenko. Um, shields! Build wearable shield gear. Shields use momentum repulsing technology to prevent projectiles from traveling. Traversing the field boundary. Okay. That sounds good. Um, right, yeah, I'm going to not do research for a minute now. Um, I've never used shields in this game. I don't know how they work. Um, major casualties, thank you for the bits. Uh, how are you, Ben? I'm good. I'm a bit tired. It's been a busy, busy week for Ben. So I might end the stream a little earlier than usual. Other than that, I'm pretty good. I've got to clear out this room. I've just got boxes everywhere from, like, new PC bits. I need to clean it up. It's going to be good. I'm gonna be, once I've got it properly settled in, it's going to be real nice. What are some, like, high-end games? I've, like, never had a high-end PC in my life. What are some, like, modern games that need, like, a super PC that I can, like, try it out on? Other than Cyberpunk, obviously. Um, I know that needs a high-end PC, but... I don't know. Not my kind of game. Uh, wow, we need to ex expand the freezer, really. The Witcher 3? Really? Witcher 3 is, like, really old. Does that really need a high-end PC? Control. Yeah, I've heard Control's good. You should check that out. Uh. <laughs> Skyrim with 500 mods. Oh my god. Yeah, should I just play modern? Just get a Minecraft mod pack. That'll push it to its limits, right? Uh, I had no idea The Witcher still needed like high-end stuff. I never actually played The Witcher. When well, I lie, lie, I played the first like three hours of Witcher Three years ago, and then I got really busy and I couldn't play it for a bit. And when I came back. I'd just forgotten what the hell was going on and how to play and what all the buttons did, and I didn't want to start again. So that that's my like experience with Witcher 3. I should probably go back and do it properly. Red Dead Redemption. Ah, oh, don't know about Red Dead. Because, um... Seems quite grindy. Like a lot, not grindy, but like time sinky is perhaps a better word. Um, like I just don't have a hundred hours to put into a game where I'm just like walking across the countryside trying to get somewhere. Not that it's a bad game, I just don't have that much time for gaming. It's 
Star Citizen. Star Citizen's not finished. Like, I might play Star Citizen when it's when it's done, but I'm I'm sick of early access, not playing the proper full game. I've done that too many times with too many games. I just want to play a finished game. It will never be. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. I think, I think it probably won't be. All right, we're going to also... We're going to turn this drill room into a backup freezer. Which is kind of nonsense. But who is breaking everything? Faust! What the hell are you doing, Faust? Stop it! Please. Uh, it's 40k mods mean Warhammer or just a shit ton of mods? <laughs> it basically means both. It's both. But yeah, we got um, we got Warhammer mods. We're playing Death Corps of Krieg. This is a little Imperial outpost. Uh, we've got a Valkyrie. Woo! That's like the coolest thing in the mod pack, I think. And one day we'll have Space Marines. Yeah, lots of people. I've been. I've not been paying any attention to people's needs, to be honest. I've just been trying to build, and so um, everyone's everyone's super sad. Well, let's grab um, uh, copy settings, paste settings, and there we go. We got a, We got a little bit more. Um, a little bit more storage space for food. Search tech server skulls next. Yeah, the server skulls just basically do all your work for you, don't they? That's a really good idea. I'll wait for a minute. I'll just try and get the base cleaned up before I put three guys back on research. There's a lot of, like, mess to sort out. Um, look at my golden throne room. What the hell? You've combined orcs with the Borg. They follow the will of Borg, the great green nanoprobe. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Well done. Oh. You have a colony with 14 tech level 3 server skulls, which leaves all your colonists with nothing to do but to eat and play. Oh my god. I don't understand why everyone is so sad. Like, guys. Do you not do you not know how good you've got it? This base is amazing. You're the safest Rimworld guys I've ever had. <laughs> but they ate without a table! Do you want a tour? Okay, yeah, we can wait till morning and do a tour if you like. And we can also have a little review of all our guys, because I've kind of started to lose track of who's who does what. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. Um, Let's get these robots repaired. They got beaten up in that attack. And they deserve a heal. Um, cool.
Cool Jedi's hiding in his room. Perfect. Is it okay to post a link um, of pictures I made? Um, yeah, yeah, post a link. I'll, um, it will get banned, but I will still see it, and then I'll repost it for you. That's cool. Go for it. Um, oh, oh, well, there you go. Mohans will give you permission. Cool. Let's have a look. Oh, let's, let's put this on stream. Um, so, how do I do this? Uh, bam. This is, <laughs> look at all our guys. We've got, um, everyone from the XCOM Warhammer stream. We've got the chaplain with the flaming super torch. We've got like the breaching shield guy. We've got the, uh, the banner guy with the medic just constantly pumping him full of drugs so he can keep bannering. We've got, um, oh, what's the dreadnought? Red's fan. Red's fan, the super dreadnought. Oh. They're all here. What's this symbol about? It's the Bemperor. Are these like chaos? Chaos arrow? Chaos points? The smoke book. Yeah. It's all the memes. It's all the memes, guys. They're poons. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there you go. That is... That is um, the Door Kickers XCOM playthrough in a nutshell. Everything you need to know. There is a legend below. Oh, perfect. Um, Brother Captain Snazbad. Captain Ancient Squids in Hats. Chapter Venerable Dreadnought Reds Fan. Chapter The Wizard Ed and His Fire Stick. Wolf Lord Lewis and His Door kick Kicker Gifted Relic Shield. Chief Librarian Bob Sickle Slice and the powerful smoke book. The smoke book was amazing. Like that carried us through quite a few missions. Oh my! Oh my, what is this? <laughs> this is the notable character from the Mechanicus playthrough of Rimworld. I don't remember all their names, sadly. Yeah, we just had loads of. Ri we had the sexy Cyberdong tech priest. And we had Mahons messing around with elephants, getting like. It's just too hot. It's too hot for Twitch. And then here we go. This is all the characters who are fresh in the mind from the Krieg Rimworld playthrough. They include the picture of Best Doggo Daisy in front of Chief Scribe Artenius III, the guy with power claws. Since I wanted the good image for the doggos that died early. And since Artenius was my dude. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Auntie Brian. Your guy met a very ignoble end, but he was a real good guy. We've even got Naren Lord, the squig. It's perfect. I love it. These are really fun. Thanks for making those and sharing. They're awesome. Um, thank you, uh, Lord Fishnu, for subscribing. Bond, you're my favourite boy. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, did I miss anyone else? War Sheep also subscribed. Thank you, War Sheep. And says, hey, Ben, how's the rim rimming going? It's going pretty well. We had, a, sadly, a death. But other than that, we've survived quite a lot. And Tickle Log cheered 100 bits. Thanks for the bits. And says, the Bemper protects. Don't worry, Tickle Log. We're going to get you back on your feet. Don't you worry about that. But someone asked for a tour. So we're going to do a little tour. Now it's daytime. So we've got the, the, the out, outer crops, which keep getting burned down by orc raids. But they just, like... Extra stockpiles, because we're running low. Um, you come through here, past the Rock Creek Barricade. And um, into the kill box. The kill box currently has just been redesigned. We'll see if this is enough. It's two twin heavy bolter tarantulas and a twin las cannon turret. That can fire off this low wall. While um, there's a little side box here for if we need to get some extra firepower. We can run some boys in there. And just shoot them while they're they're getting hosed down. Once you get past the kill box, you find the corpse room right next to the autopsy room. So um, you know any humans attack, we can rip out all their organs and um, stick them in the meat locker. And then we've got the guest quarters here, um, which is really for prisoners. 
perfect. Let's make it for prisoners now. And then everyone can find their own bedrooms. That's the prisoners' quarters. Uh, we've got the little side exit, so we don't have to walk through the barbed wire to get out. Um, this is the animal animal shelter, where all the robots and animals live. Um, we've got the power plant with the um, Devil Strand greenhouse. Landing zone for visitors. Right next door to all of the uh, the frontline stuff is the medic bay with the comms console as well. We've got... We need to install some of this stuff, actually. We've got a few bionic upgrades that need sticking in people. Um, then we've got the Golden Throne Room for Crimson. Crimson's our royalty. He demands to have this Golden Throne Room. Uh, it's a bit of a mess right now, but very gold. And that's where we burn the corpses. The corpses go in and fuel the Golden Throne. Um, and then what? We've got some... Power plants, we've got a little mortar battery hiding out here, some drop pods, a um, little microbrewery for our beer. Um, kitchen quarters, we've got the freezer full of food. Everyone eats paste. It's disgusting, but what can you do? Um, we need someone to fix that servo skull. Uh, I guess Oli Yeet can do it. Okay. Uh, then we've got living quarters dotted around the edge of the base. We've got some here. And we've got some over here. All the way along here. We've got the work tech rooms. This is the rooms where people build stuff. Um, we've got the research center. Where the nerds hang out. We've got the, the chill out room. With the little cinema. Poker tables. It's very nice in there. Uh, we've got like extra barracks. Just in case we get visitors. More power plants. And then lastly, we've got the Valkyrie hangar. Um, where we go on missions. And a backup storage room in case we've got too much stuff. And that's it for now. Um, obviously walls around everything. But actually, you know what? We've got some stuff to name. Um, so we can do that right now. My base is crazy organized compared to yours. The add-on mess that they usually are. To be honest, mine has grown like that, but occasionally we'll have a we'll just wipe out a bunch of stuff and rebuild. Occasionally you just gotta remodel, you know? I've been wanting to remodel this kitchen for a while, but it's just it's kinda too cramped in here. Um okay. the, big, the grand harvest is beginning. We're gonna need more more storage. Oh well, we'll see how that goes. Research Imperial Medical Beds for Gene Seed Add-ons. Oh, okay. Um, there we go. Adorable chickens! He wants you to take care of his six chickens for 11 days. Oh, we get a resurrection serum! <gasps> I will tend those chickens, sir. Um. Right, we need to make sure someone's on, like, look after animal. Like, super high priority. Um. Chicken tenders. Tend the chickens. Not like that. No! Um. One of them's called Big Boy. <laughs> oh. We're right, we've got two corpses. Um, which one do we want to bring back? We've got Walrus. Uh, oh, it doesn't show me his stats. Or we've got Kurashishi. Hmm. Right, we actually also need to sort out our zones a bit. Um...
We're gonna make a new a new zone. Rename um hide. The hide zone. Um and this is where we assign people during an attack, right? Um so they can hide here. Here. Um most of this base is fine. All of this. It's fine. Uh we can hide in these bedrooms, that's fine. We can hide down here. And you can hide over here. Okay, cool. Just away from the front line. Um, yeah, there's no Space Marines faction, but you can eventually tech up and make your own Space Marines, which is what we're trying to do. We've done most of the research. We can build the um, implant, Space Marine implants, but we need to recover some gene seed before we can build them. Um, so we will eventually... Make our own space marines. The Tyranids, yeah, there's Tyranids in this. There's Necrons, there's Orcs, there's Tau, there's Eldar. All sorts of things. Oh my god, there's a rogue trader. Um please, please, please have some gene seed. Um I don't see any. Ah! Stolen Gene Seed! They got five! <gasps> it's gonna cost 97,000 silver. What? They're 20 grand each. Why? Why? Okay. Uh, well, we've got stuff we can sell. Um, like uranium. We don't need 15,000 uranium, you know? That can go. Um, we'll keep like... We'll keep like 100 for emergencies. Um, so sell like 1,400. Okay. Um, what else can we sell? We can sell... Ceramite. God, we've got a lot of it. Um, let's keep like a thousand. Why have we got so much? Okay. Um, yeah, that's true. I can always mine more. I will keep like a hundred just so I can craft stuff while I'm waiting for the mining to come through. We can sell, um, adamantium. But again, we'll keep a little bit. Um, we can sell brains. Um, sell that chainsaw. Uh, Sell these random clothes. We can sell gold. Oh my god, we can afford it. We can actually afford it. Wow, okay, they cleaned us out. We basically had to sell everything. Um But we can do it. Oh my god, five gene seeds. What, how, much, how, much, how much do we need? Is five, like, enough to make one space marine? I don't know. Um, okay. Well, let's get, um... Suro. Okay, so, actually, you know what? 
Ciro, you need to get back in the cave. Um, Ciro's mine can actually go out here too. In case he needs extra room. There we go. Um, off he goes. So now let's... We need ceramite, we need adamantium, we need uh, silver. Do until you have, do until you have, do until you have. And then silver, do forever. Um, and we need like, just keep like 500. We'll just stay at 500 um, with both. Same with gold. Just basically everything at 500. And then if we ever go below 500, we'll, we'll top it up. Uh, yeah, and then at the bottom of the list, silver forever. And that'll be that'll be good priority. Uh, we'll just add like a hundred uranium because you don't need a lot of uranium. And. Okay, there we go. And that's all Ciro does now, forever. Ciro's going to mine, and he's going to mine, and he's going to mine. Why do I put the core miner inside? Because the core miner must be below zero degrees while it's running, otherwise it takes damage. So that's why I've got all of these um, air cons in there. To keep it cold. I'm going for too little. I should go for 2k of everything. Why? Um, is the crematorium set to cremate colonist corpses? I believe so. Actually, yeah, we better change that because now um, we'll burn all corpses that are rotten from within, like, range forever. And we'll burn... That'll be it for now. Just rotten corpses only. Uh, I needed 11k ceramite to buy five gene seed, which is not even enough for one space marine. Well, yeah, but that's because I need what I really needed was silver. Um, so that's why I'm saying once you've got enough, all these basics sorted, just get silver. Otherwise, I'm I'm losing on the um the exchange rate. I'm selling ceramite for less silver. Uh, quest completed. Oh, we got our boys back. Amazing. Uh, quest. They're planning an aerial assault on a base guard over by 27 pilots. He wants 10 soldiers to carry out the attack. I don't... Oh, we could do it for honor. Should we send 10 soldiers to go wreck a base? That could be fun. Five silvers worth one ceramite. And one silver's worth one silver. Okay, but don't I mine more silver than I do ceramite? Is that not how that works? Hmm... All the animals they're not allowed in this room. Um, are you sure that's how it works? I would have thought you'd get more silver per run than you would ceramite. Okay, look, you know what, chickens? You can sleep in the brewery if you like. 
Oh shit, cool Jedi started a fight with Dragonzord. Why? Cool Jedi, what's your beef? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's lagging. Oh, it's just a quest. Okay. Uh, right, the Cadians. Recently res rescued 12 Cadians. They want me to guard them here. Um, a mech cluster will deploy. Okay, well, we could do it, but I don't actually want any of this stuff. Um... Hmm. I don't think this is worth it. Got to keep them happy. Well, it's just stuff I don't even need. No, it's too much effort. Um, I need to get everyone happy and fit. And I need to look after these chickens. So we can get our boy back. That's all that matters right now. I also need to get some wood. Pretty low on wood. Okay. Um. Legendary harpsichord. <laughs> Have we fixed that robot yet? No. Javonsky is still downed. Um. I don't know what, how to fix him. Deactivating him doesn't help. I have to, you have to manually beat it to death. What? That's brutal. Really? It's a bug. Oh. Okay. Well, let's multi melter it. That way it'll be painless and instantaneous. Oh, no, he just melted the heating element for the room. Sorry, Javonski. Rip. Someone build a new Javonski. Got more new lovers. Uh, Glass, Violet, and Faust. Guess they can go in here, right? Um... Nice. This doesn't need to be prisoner's room anymore. Right, let's have a bit of a... Oh, but cool Jedi's love is gone. Oh, it was a sweet summer love. They've left now. I feel like we don't need people sleeping in the barracks. Like, surely there's enough beds for everyone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And a couple of people who want to sleep together. Fourteen, fifteen. So really only one person needs to sleep in that barrack. Um Okay, here we go. So Blazing Psycho and Red Fog. Could go over here. Uh Red Fog, there we go. Perfect. Uh Right, we need to up the difficulty on this. Um to like 14 maybe. Stop the the lesser skulls taking Ciro's job. I have to do it for each one. Okay. 
There we go. Um, Alright, it's still going. Apparently a tier 2 skull has got at least 15 mining. What? These plants are dying? Oh, that, that right, okay. Um, heat wave! Okay, that's annoying. Um, okay, it's not too hot in this room yet, anyway. Okay, well, I guess Zero can go do anything. If, if Tyre's HTML demands to be the new mining bot, then so be it. Oh, thank you for the hype. I'm glad. Glad you're into it. Um, our mini bus. Thank you for subscribing. Seven months, and it feels like only yesterday I stared at you on screen and whispered to myself, "My bon." <laughs> thank you very much, our mini bus. It's good to have you here. Um, man, I just need to pee. I'm gonna take a little break. Oh, but let's go to the trader first. Go talk to a trader and get ourselves some stuff. Um, well, we could get rid of a whole bunch of this. Like, get rid of a thousand cloth. That's too much cloth. Um, and all this crap leather. Don't need any of that. Um... Oh my god. That's an insane amount of walk leather. Or oh, buys medicine. For sure. Um, could buy some stone. Just because he hasn't got enough money to give us cash. An extra thousand stone blocks wouldn't hurt. Uh... Take his components. We could get another thousand out of him. Wow, that's that's too much plasteel. Uh, perfect. Tyranid stew. Buy it quickly. Sounds disgusting. Why would I want Tyranid Stew? What's the point of that? What does it do? Tyranid Stew. How better to make use of Flesh of Tyranids? A masterpiece of the culinary arts! Give the 8 victory meal buff for 20 hours. Oh. It's a buff. Cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sure, we'll buy it. Um, just forbid it for now. We'll dish it out for special occasions. Oh, they're having a party! Perfect. Uh, now, too many of you guys are wearing commissar caps, to be honest. Only one of you should be the commissar. We're going to need more helmets, aren't we? Um... Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need like five more Krieg helmets. Um, and we're going to need some more flak armor as well. So he's got armor. 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 One without. Two without. Uh, only really only two without armor on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, two more guard black armors. Yeah, my kitchen doesn't have enough seats. I need to rebuild the kitchen. 
Um, need a much bigger freezer anyway, to be honest. We could cut down on the farm space. You know, now that we've got the external farm running. We could expand out. Should we remodel the kitchen? God, that makes it sound so middle class, doesn't it? Let's do it. Um... I don't want to dig into the mountain, because that is how bugs get you. Um, okay, then to disassemble that. Floors down, we'll get some more walls down. Okay, yeah, let's expand this out. Um, what is this made of? Granite tiles. Okay. Uh, how do I get. Oh, there you go. Granite tiles. And then we'll get like auto doors in here and here. Here. And temperature. I guess we'll need to get some aircon in here. Busy, busy little worker bees. Going very well. Uh, all right, let's. Uninstall these. Install the charging station over there. Um, let's get rid of these. Get some silver lights in here. I think they look better. Um, get rid of this, get rid of this. Perfect. Right, where'd that table go? Uh, how are we going to do this? Should we get a bigger table or just mush more tables together? Um... This is gonna work. Thank you. 
is our uh, I think I think the, the platoon that eats together dies together. You know? I think that's a nice a nice little motto to live by. You know what? All of these chairs that are poor quality, I'm going to deconstruct them. In fact, even the normal ones. I think our guys are much better nowadays. Uh, furniture. Uh, oh yeah, the old table's poor. Thank you for spotting that. Um. That one's poor as well. Mm. Okay, and we need some more words. Couldn't, couldn't actually replace that table with wood. Um, there we go. This is much nicer, isn't it? We can stick... Um, marriage spot? Why not? And party spot? Now we've probably got the ma enough manpower to do, um... Oh, the meal's already done. Okay, amazing. Um... Right, I think that's kitchen remodeling complete. Um, what art has the masterwork chair got on it? Good question. What have they inscribed into this chair? Here it is. Um... This furniture bears the depiction of an impressive grey fireball, shredding rocks and debris as it flies. Dozens of figures prepare tools and equipment. A dolphin smiles near the main subject. This depiction relates to a meteorite impact happening near Faust MD's hamlet. Solar flare. Perfect. Cool, right, I'm going to take a, a little two-minute break. And repeat, and I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Hey, bam, we're back. Right, let's get these guys rolling. Um, how are we? Uh, Eidolon has just resubscribed for three months. Thank you, Eidolon. And then they say, Bon, the game shop where I work has had no power for three days. Means more catching up on streams for me. Are there any games coming out in the near future you're excited for? Keep on brimming. Oh my god. Um, well, I hope you're doing all right with, uh, with the power out. Um... I don't actually know. I can't think of any games that are coming up. I'm sure there are some. Um, I, I literally, my mind's gone blank. Let me Google it. Upcoming games. Dark Tide. That's a good one. Yeah, good shout, Alpha Cat. I'm looking forward to Dark Tide. I'm um, looking forward to Humankind. Um, looking forward to um, what's it called? Uh, the Ring, Dark Souls Ring game. I forget what it's called. Uh, Elden Ring, that's the one. Uh, can't think of any others. Maybe Zelda Skyward Sword, because I never played it. It's one of the only Zelda games I've never played, so the remake on Switch might be um, might be a good one. Um. Right, we should go on a mission. The base has been sorted out real good. I think it's time we go kick some ass. We can go get more brains, and we can use those brains um, to make more robots. And then more robots will make more gold, which will make more space marines. Um, let's do it. 
We do need more fuel, actually. How much have we got? Oh, we've got 700. That's all right for now. Um, let's do it. Let's send... Oh, we did lose one of the bolt gun boys, didn't we? In fact, we need to check everyone's equipment. I have a feeling some people are not equipped properly because I haven't checked it for a while. So Faust still has a bolt gun. Um, cool Jedi still has the hammer. Cool Jedi should go put on his power armor, actually. Where is Cool Jedi's power armor? Uh, Oliver's got a gun, Alpha Cat's got a last cannon, Master's got a power sword. Well, maybe everyone has got guns. I guess Red Fog can up his. can upgrade to a better bolt gun, since we've got a spare one somewhere. Um, what is this? I don't know where they've put that gun. That incredibly expensive bolt gun has fucking vanished. Um, there it is. Crimson's got a gun. Death Row doesn't, but he's not very good with one. Blazing Psycho needs, like, a sidearm. Uh, and Dragon Zord needs a weapon, but not a good one. Uh, don't really want to give a bolt gun to someone who can't shoot straight. That feels like a bad idea. Let's give him... I guess I'll just give him that SMG. Okay. Cool, well that's everyone equipped. So let's, um... I guess we'll wait till morning. We'll let them, we'll let them have a sleep. And we'll let them have an eat. And then we'll go. We'll go harvest some brains from someone. Um. We should install all these tech prints, I guess, as well. Where are our chief researchers? Red Fox. Uh oh. Okay, might have to postpone that little trip. Um, how bad is it? It's a smoke spewer. One capsule, one assembler, two turrets. This isn't too bad actually. It's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, we can just ant we can just nuke that, can't we? I don't even know if they've got a shield generator. I can't see a shield. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen mechs drop in without a shield before. Not in this kind of size, anyway. tech prints installed.
and then we'll get the mortars going. Oop. Oh, we'll let them eat. We'll let them eat. Why not? All right then, red fog. Man that mortar. Load it with anti-grain. And uh, take care of business, if you please. Let's get down to business. Boom! That that was not as powerful as I was expecting. I, mean, I guess I killed three pikemen in the the drop pod box. That was high X, was it? No, that was anti-grain. Because it's set to only fire anti-grains. I think robots are immune to the, like, blast. The, the, the exact point of impact damages them, but the wider area of, like, fire and radiation that kills people, I don't think, um, hurts them. I'm guessing. Knocked out a centipede over there. Okay, they come in. They are coming. Um. Oh lord. Rally up, boys. So obviously, you guys get out, get out of the front line. Um. Where are my heavy weapon guys? We'll have the multi-melter and the las cannon and the plasma gun and a couple of bolters. You guys can go here. And beta cat's not going to get involved because they're immune to fire damage. Um, guess that no. I forgot to bring the chickens indoors. Oh, that's annoying. That was dumb. I should have just done that immediately. But I forgot. And now a chicken is dead. Um, I guess we're not getting the res serum. Whoo wee! That las cannon! That's loud. Why are they here? Why are the chickens in the middle of the kill box? Uh, Glass Violet got hit by something. Oh, burnt by their own plasma gun. <laughs> okay, we probably need to stop using that plasma gun. If it's just going to keep burning them, um, let's replace that. Whew. Fire in the disco. Okay, well, I'll worry about that in a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, they're, they're shooting fire. They're fighting fire with fire, boys. Get out of there. Get out of there. Gun there. Put the last cannon there, though. Heavy bolters do not damage centipedes very quickly, do they? That's something we've learnt today. Uh, 
Wasn't there another bolt gun here? Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Job done. Put all the fires out, please. Oof. I'm not impressed with this plascrete. I guess the heavy bolters are just too strong. They just annihilate everything that goes anywhere near them. The poor chickens. They literally were in the worst place. If they'd been almost anywhere else on the map, the chickens would have been absolutely fine. But they were on route on the mech route to attack and in the kill box. I couldn't have been in a worse place. Uh, right, we need to knock out that last turret. Um. Alright, my Crimson and Faust. Okay, if we can knock out these turrets, we can actually just walk in here. Which would be nice. Any minute now. Alright, that'll do. get these guys. Um, did your dono not come through? I thought I read it out. Let me check. Um, what did I get up to? There's a couple I haven't read out yet. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, sorry. My bad. Sorry, dude. Um... Just make sure I've got them all. I'm just going to copy them all over. And start again. Right, so I'll just take out these turrets, then I'll read, read your message. Um, just want to do one thing at a time. Shouldn't take long. Perfect. Okay, and allow all of this. Perfect. Whew. Right then, so Koroshenko, thank you for donating. You say, Great and holy, Bemperor. I have questions about that shark plushie. Is the poon supposed to keep the sponge in? Or does it go down the pee hole? Is it machine washable? Does it come in different sizes? Can we take the monkey's eyes? Oh man. A plushie! The plushie is just a plushie. It's a nice thing. Stop making it weird. It's just nice. It doesn't have to have the poon in. The poon is removable. It just fits in there. If you want to poon your shark, you can. That's all it's for. Nothing else. One size fits all. 
<laughs> uh, we cannot take the monkey's eyes because I have forgotten to install the mod that lets us take the monkey's eyes. I'm sorry. I'll try and remember for next week. I was a bit distracted trying to get the new new PC set up. But thank you, Kurashenko. I'm excited. I want to I get one of those plushies for myself. They won't let me. There's only there's a one prototype and they won't let me touch it. Um, Kurashishi, thank you. Oh, I already read that one, but thank you again. Um, Lockvik donated and said, I've read that one already. Thank you, Lockvik. They're talking about how to get the gene seeds. We're on the case. Uh, North Soul has already donated and I read that one too. Thank you. And Kurashishi has donated again and says, I jinx myself being too kind and not keeping the robot. Next time I won't make that mistake. Sad to miss out on the man seed gathering, but I'm sure my siblings can handle it. Seed Extraction Enforcement Division. Seed, roll out. Perfect. Thank you, Kurashishi. Um, Alpha Cat says, Ben, why did you send me to Brazil? I'm healthy again. Someone had to do it, man. But don't worry, you're back. You're already back. It didn't take long at all. Uh, D Parsec says, you're playing RimWorld on your beast machine? For shame, Ben. For shame. Don't worry, we'll play other games too. But how can I, how can I leave these guys? We haven't made a single Space Marine yet. Uh, Glithu has donated. Thank you very much. And says, congratulations, my Bemper, on the upgrade to the Golden Throne Mark II. May your core stay cool and your plays be fire. Thank you, Glithu. And Warpcraft says, hello, Ben. I recently painted up an entire tactical squad. It only took me like a month or two. Probably a world record. Also painted up a spiky boy. Loving the stream. Please take my money. Link. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, wow. Warpcraft. Holy shit, I remember seeing these before. Man, a couple of months to get them looking this good is actually impressive. Like, super impressive. Look at these guys. They look so good. Look at that. Look at that. Um, what's it called? Freehand. Freehand banner. That looks awesome. Freehand on the Rhino as well, looking great. That, like, real extreme lighting effect on the blue looks really good. Non Is that non-metallic? It looks non-metallic gold. We made it look like it's gold, but it's actually just like browns and yellows. You've done all your lenses. Yeah, these are beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful. That tiny little script on the purity seat. Oh my god. Um, I've got some close ups. Very nice, sir. Very, very nice. How many hours per model do you reckon, if you had to guess? And like, I know it's taking you a few months, but like. Is it like 10 hours a model or something? I'd love to know. I'm always curious at how long people take to paint. Because I take fucking ages. Um, I'm a very slow painter. Probably about 10 hours for the sergeant. A bit less for the others. Wow. important? No, okay. Oof. Yeah, that's that's a long time, but it, it shows. And here's a Chaos Boy. A heretic to battle. It's amazing. It's beautiful stuff, dude. Very impressed. Thank you for sharing your tiny toys. Thank you for donating. K 
Okay, well, well, hopefully if nothing else attacks us in the, in the next five minutes, we can actually go on a mission. We can load up the Valkyrie, go harvest some seeds and some brains. Fingers crossed. We need new research. Yeah, that's true. Um... I don't know what to research next. Tier 3 service skulls. I think I already have tier 3 service skulls, don't I? Uh, yeah, I've got them. The custodes thing is quite good. Where's the custodes weapon hidden? Trying to find anything on this tech tree is a bit of a nightmare. Um, Rosarius is better shields. Uh, there it is. We can build them now. Guardian spears. God, that's so many weapons! Uh, what do they need? Six power cores, eight imperial components, two ceramite, ten steel. That, that's actually pretty cheap. Uh, well, six power cores is quite a lot. Um, let's make a couple. Uh... I've already lost it. There it is. Uh, demonic incursion. Oh, we were about to go attack someone. Make them out of adamantium. Is that an option? Oh, yeah. Can make them out of plasteel. Can't make them out of... Oh, no. Is adamantium the best one to make them out of? That make them the strongest. Oh, shit. I just lost half the components. Balls. Oh well. We'll get him. Alright, where's this demonic incursion at? Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... Everybody hide. Right now. They're not attacking. Um, do you think anti-grain will destroy demonic rifts? Let's find out. Oh god, it's... Oh, I just fired one over at where the old mechs were. Oh, let's watch the explosion at least. Boom. Fine. Forgot it was still told to attack there. Um, let's try there. Okay, that was good. I like that. Uh. 
God, it feels wrong that two turrets can put out that much firepower. You know? Oof. We're shooting blue horrors and flamers of zinch. Um, this shouldn't take long. Oh shit, some of them made it in. That wasn't even a very big attack. What the hell? Oh crap. Just blew up my own bloody thing. Yeah, this new kill box doesn't feel better than the old one. That's for sure. Um... It's definitely blowing up a lot more of my own stuff. Maybe another heavy bolter. I don't think the lack of bolters is the problem. I'm thinking maybe I just need to go back to um, uh, heavy stubbers, to be honest. At least the stubbers didn't just annihilate my own kill box. The laser's working really well. Yeah, the heavy. Like the twin las cannons. That is working really well. Okay, so we'll have to wait again till tomorrow. <laughs> they really don't want me going on my missions, do they? Have I, got any more? Have I missed any more donors or subs? check while I wait for them to have a little nap. Uh, no, it looks like we're up to date. Key thing about the heavy bolt is the AOE because demon horrors act like clown cars. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, against like a mob of stuff that's all actually on the board. It's much more effective. How bad's this fire? Oh, it's raining. It'll be alright. Okay, it's 8am. Everyone, um... Okay, uh... Oh, component meteorite. Oh, female soothing. Perfect. That's always good. Don't forget imperial medical beds. Okay. Okay. Um, how expensive are they? Um... Cost quite a lot of ceramite. I'll just have one for now, I guess. Cost ten med, ten um, med kits too. It was a hundred and fifty ceramite. Kind of insane. Um, uh oh. What? Well. A royal tribute collector. 
sure. Let's go talk to the uh, the Imperial Governor of this planet. I can give him gold. Okay. Have some gold. Be friend. What are they? Do they like me now? Are we friends? That didn't increase my rating at all. He just took a hundred gold from me. He's a thief. Don't care for that one bit. Ooh. Oh, wow, you need tech prints to do the assassins. Huh. Uh, oh, I could build battle sister armor. That's cool. Uh, uh, don't really want any of this. Take some fuel, I guess. And that's it. Keep six prisoners for 16 days with the blood rot. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Um, oh, thank you, Mazark, for eight months sub. That's amazing. Appreciate that. Now I'm going to do that quest. I'm going to do my own quest. And actually, we need to name. We've got some names, right? Um... We've got the squig. I totally forgot to name the squig. And to train him. I'll train that good boy squig. Um, spinning the wheel. It is North Soul 95. Welcome aboard, sir. Um, we're going to sell those as soon as we can, so we're not going to name them. And all the robots are named, and all the people are named. Perfect. Okay. Um, right. right, everyone get your breakfast, and then we're going, we're going on a mission. Okay, we're going to take Cool Jedi, Crimson, Red Fog, Ollie Eat, and Faust. Where's that? One, two, three, four, five. Is that enough people? And Blazing Psycho. Sure. Oh, wrong, wrong way of doing it. Um, Ollie Eat, Red Fog, Faust, uh, Cool Jedi, and Crimson. Should we bring one more? And Blazing Psycho. Why not? Um, what else do we want to bring? There's too much crap on this list. Uh, what if we bring some simple meals? We'll bring like... Uh, like 30? And I'll bring like some medicine and some water shells. Perfect. 
I think we're going to need anything else. Yeah, there is a lot of crap in this place. I keep trying to sell it, but no one will buy all this orc trash. Um... And some of it just won't be smelted either. Let's cremate some of it. Uh, Oh, for jade stuff, you have to destroy it rather than smelt it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Destroy orc weapons forever. Okay, let's try that. Is this thing ready yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's launch. Um, right, who are we going to hit? Well, ideally, we want to find some humans for their brains to build more servo skulls. Um, but also, we'd like to hit some Chaos Marines to steal their seed. Um, who are we even enemies with now? Oh, well, let's find some traitor guard. That could be a double whammy. They've got a symbol with a skill in it. Let's go for these guys. Uh, drop of the edge. Valkyrie away! Okay, deploy! Go, go, go! Okay, we're out. Uh, what are we up against here? Oh, crap! They've got a mortar! <laughs> They've got a Chaos Cultist on a mortar! Oh, man! Um, can we launch before they... Um, before it lands? I don't want it blowing up all my medicine. That would be super annoying. Uh, let's just jump like Blazing Psycho and um, Red Fog in here take and take that all with us. And then everyone else who isn't Blazing Psycho and Red Fog can come here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, I'm going to do a bombing run. Uh, should we carpet bomb? Why not? Carpet bomb is best bomb. Um... Can die. It's taking longer than I thought. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the fire! Fo I wondered what that was for a minute. It's the fire foam popper. Whew. It's, it's a lot of shells for not a lot of damage, isn't it? Um. It looks like we've just spooged all over their base. Feels weird, man. <laughs> Didn't even blow up these guardsmen. This one got bruised. That one is fully healthy. Mm, okay. Uh, but at least the mortar's been knocked out. That's the main thing. Uh, There's a lot of demons to fight, though, eh? There's a lot of demons to fight. 
Um, at least I'm not going to blow up all my stuff anymore. That's the main thing. Right, let's go in and mop them up. Uh, boop. Gunline, assemble. Are they coming to me? They sure are. Uh, Changing their tactics. Uh... Oh, they're running away. Come back. I want your brain. I came here for your brains. He's going to get away, isn't he? Getting away. Damn it. Too much cover in the way. I can't snipe him. Hey. Oh, and he's ducked around that corner. Uh. Come on. Get him. Get him. Oh, he got away. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's still a human here. Jump pack. No, I forgot to re-equip the jump pack. He's not wearing it. It's annoying. <sighs> it's all right. We'll we'll take this guy's seed instead. Well, he's not going to have any, is he? Oh shit! Happy Chappy's on fire. No, Chappy. Someone just take care of this, please. Uh, oh, there's a turret here somewhere. Okay, I'm seeing a problem with the multi-melter, guys. Not can't quite put my finger on it. Um, but, oof. <laughs> no, no brain, no seed. Nothing was recovered. Just annihilated his entire body. Right. Do not bring the multi-melter guy on a uh, on a salvage run. There will be nothing to salvage. Lessons were learnt. Um. I guess there's not going to be much inside here, is there? Oh, got some food. Uh, let's see what's in here. <laughs> I sieve the ashes. Uh, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Okay. Well, this was a disappointing raid. To be honest. Um. I feel like we could have could have got more than that. Oh well. No one died. That's the most important thing. We all live. Uh, how many shells did I bring with me? Does anyone remember? Thirty. Okay. I've got thirteen left. So I used seventeen on that bombing run. Could have used a lot less, I suppose. 17 was kind of overkill just for knocking out that mortar. Oh, crap. Melt it. Guys, you really, you really need to put these fires out, please. Come on. Uh, 
Okay. Scourge pods. Uh, there's a mechanite swarm. They want to attack us. Um, wow. 95 glitter medicine. Okay, Valkyrie ready for launch. Oop. What's this? Hang on. What's this? An item stash here. Should we go beat seven mechanoids? We could do it on the way, couldn't we? Let's go! Boop. Uh, what are we up against here? Easy peasy. I think, oh God, that's real thick wood, though, isn't it? Is there a centipede? No. Uh, Oh god. The melter gun. The melter gun doesn't Oh no. We've got a melter gun and a multi melter. And it looks like it doesn't it doesn't damage these guys. I thought we were just gonna absolutely rinse them. Oh no, it does it does damage them. Okay, oh, I was worried for a minute there. It looked like we weren't doing any damage, but but we were. Whew. That spooked me for a minute. What do we get? Oh, just hyper weave. Boo. Uh, who here is a doctor? Red fog? Can you be a doctor? Not really. Um, oh, Ollie Eaters. Cool. Right. Uh, can you please attend? Crimson. Has been. Has got some owies. Oh god, he's lost a lung and a kidney now. Our brave and fearless leader, Crimson, is getting real beat up. Breakup. <gasps> Izzy and Kavi are on a breakup. What? They're like our oldest couple. Um, Izzy asked Cave, Cavey for a break. Boo! What was the last thing they talked about? Oh, they haven't been talking. I think that's the problem. Communication breakdown, it's classic. Oh, oh, but Alpha Cat communicated thoughts about the link between sexual morality and life regrets with Izzy. <gasps> Oh, Alpha Cat, you sly dog. Talked about your sexual deviancy. And then they went and got broken up. What sweet nothings have you been whispering into Izzy's ears? <laughs> it's just sliding into those DMs. <laughs> Were you just like, marriage is just a social construct, man. You should be able to bang anyone you want. I bet that's exactly what you said. Oh my. <laughs> Alpha Cat, ever since you got your brain fixed, yeah, you've been um you've been doing the rounds. Hmm. Very chatty. Now you can think again.
Why is Ollie taking their helmet off? Oh, because it's gone to 50%. I see. Uh. Okay, time to go home. You've had a little nap. Well, that'll do you. Time to build a relationship counselling room. Lock the two together in with nothing but a bed, food, and recreation stuff. Oh my god. Can you? I guess you could do that, couldn't you? You really could. Okay, are we good to go? Oh, no. What about Crimson? God, we really need to get him some more organs. Well, normally we've just got piles and piles of organs. This is like our first organ shortage. I might have to build a dinner table in here. Just so that when people come back from missions, they don't cry about eating on the floor. Which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to. I'm gonna do it. Emergency break, break room. Pretty successful mission. In and out. Pish bash bosh. Two two bases knocked down. Um a bit worried about Crimson though. I've got to stop sending him on missions until we can get him patched up. Um Oh, look at this. He fucking loves being married to uh Grand Tour Potato. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. Doesn't care that he's only got a lung one lung and one kidney. He just loves his potato boy. So let's have a look. How do we how do we make a space marine? Um, the black carapace. That's the one that lets you use power armor. Good. You need an imperial med kit, five nano components, one stolen gene seed, five refined karma. Okay. Um, It's a hard day when you have to choose between Dad Ben and Dad Pyrian. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to choose. Pyrian's a good lad. Um, there's there's too many, there's too many different organs you can make. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's too many. Well, they no, not all of these are space marine things, are they? Um, there's eight. There's eight of them. Um, what does this even do? The right of pure thought. Freed from the distractions of emotions or any self sense of self preservation. <laughs> okay. Um, so just, just turn them into Roboto men. What's Imperial Rejuvenant? That's like the um, fancy Imperials in 40k. 
get rejuvenate treatments, which basically let them stay, like, staves off the aging process. Um, so it doesn't, like, make them younger, but it stops them getting older for a bit. So that's why you end up with some, like, nobles and important people living for, like, three or four hundred years. We need hops. Why aren't we growing hops? Uh, I haven't had beer for ages. Yeah, I could make enhanced lungs and stuff, I suppose. You're right. We totally could. We could make a lung and a kidney. Make augmented kidney. Um, none of our colonists have medical and crafting skills. Oh, shit. Um, that's a problem. Power cuts across Bristol. Oh, shit. I've lost the internet. Am I back? What's happening? Did I go? And I'm back? I didn't know I'd gone. Oh. Okay. I was just talking to myself. Although, to be honest, it's 8 o'clock. I do have to go. <laughs> um... The Osium Lum Dala and the Black Carapace recommend. Okay, let's do that then. Um, the Os Osmodulia and the Black Carapace. Oh man, Medical 13, Crafting 13. Oof. Um... Oh, yeah, the service girl can make them. That's a good point. It's just annoying. You can't... You can't tell him to do it. You have to wait for him to figure out to do it. Which is annoying. We should probably make another tier 3 drone, right? Another tier 3 service girl? Um... Is it here you make them? They need 15 components, 15 nano components. Have we set it to 15? Uh, okay, we are now. Let's make another one. Mammoth construction. Oh my god. You want me to build a massive monument? But I don't want to. Man, I'm getting really hungry. I think I'm actually going to have to stop. I'm not thinking straight. I haven't had my din dins. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm not, not focusing very well. I think we're going to call it there. Um, oh yeah, Walrus and Kurishishi were both crafters. You're right, the last two people we've lost were both the high tier crafters. The robots are going to literally gonna have to dig us out of this hole. Because none, none of our guys can. <laughs> oh, um, 
Half Home donated. Thank you, Half Home. And says, hi, hi. Happy to catch you live tonight. Not sure if you got to see my finished Necromantics last night. But here they are again. And a bonus Tomb King without finished bases just for you. Oh, my God. Let me see. Let me see. Uh... Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. And this guy. Uh, bam. Here we go. These are half homes undead boys for Blood Bowl. Oh, you've nearly finished the bases. This guy's looking cool. Oh, man. Kind of tempted to get back into Blood Bowl. Every time I see someone's finished team, I'm like, I could do that. I could paint a Blood Bowl team. It's not that many models. They're looking awesome, dude. I like them. I like them. Good job. I'd probably do Kemri or Lizardman, I think. It's annoying, though. I, like, I think Kemri and Lizardman look fantastic, but they don't really fit my playstyle. Although I need to read all the new rules. I haven't played 3rd edition Blood Bowl. It's probably all a bit different. Are these converted? Are these the official... No, these are converted, aren't they? These are like skeletons with... Um, just regular skeletons with extra bits glued on, right? And some Necron bits. The actual Kimry team looks a bit different, doesn't it? That's a cool conversion. Um, yeah, thank you, Alphine. Thanks for sharing your toys. They look great. Uh, Clomidus used their Prime 15 minutes ago. I missed a few of these things when they came in a few minutes ago. So um, thank you, Clomidus, for using your Prime. Thank you, um, It's it's Dalvist, for also using your Prime. Thank you, Arcanaut, for donating. It says, noticed where your research tree was going, and I would like to become a Vindicare Assassin if possible. But I'm chill with whatever. Thanks, Arcanaut. If you're going on the list. Um... We, I think we're going to be quite a long way off assassins because although I can research them, um, I need these what, zero out of three are tech prints that I need to get. So I can't research any of these things with red on them until I've got three tech prints. So that's quite a long way off. But hopefully, hopefully they'll turn up soon. You're on the list. You don't think assassins have anything beside a couple of guns? The tech slot is a space holder. Oh. How would I recommend getting into Blood Bowl Tabletop? Um, it might be worth you trying the computer game first, seeing if you enjoy it. Because the computer game is basically the same rules. Um, but really, all you need is a team and someone to play with. So check out to see if your like, local game club has people playing Blood Bowl. Um, you can also try playing like tabletop sim and just give it a go. But ultimately, like it's only you only need like 12 models, depending on which team you have, like 12 to 16 models to play. It's quite low cost. And, you know, you don't even need to buy the core set and the board and the dice and everything if you've got other people to play with who already have those things, because you only need one set. But yeah, that's it. That's all we've got time for. I've read all the messages. And um, we're all up to date. So what do we think we'll do next week? I've not even left this on a cliffhanger, which is weird. Normally, normally, I'd shaft future Ben over with some kind of ridiculous problem. But, oh my God, we can just come in clean next week. So I think next week what we'll do is we'll build a bunch more drones, a bunch more servo skulls. The servo skulls can build us the organs, and then we can make the space marine squad. Um, and we can like drop pod them off. Let's go drop podding people with space marines, which would be pretty cool. But what will future Ben complain about? I know, right? He's got it too good, future Ben. He doesn't he doesn't know how good he's got it. Oh, cool. Well that was fun. 
I look forward to coming back next week. And now that I've got the new PC, maybe we'll do some bonus streams um, of, of different high-end games that require more processing power. I think that'll be really fun. Oh, right, let's let's read someone. Let's let's share the love. Who's kicking around today? Um, let's go and have a look. What's Pflax playing? Playing Tarkov. Of course he is. Of course he's playing Tarkov. Uh, they just did a wipe, right? It's Rav's up too. Playing the Long Dark. I don't even know what that is. Uh, G's doing Minecraft. Simon. The high Rollers are role playing. Uh, oh, Zoe. Zoe up to chatting. P Flex. Daltos. Daltos is playing Fable. But he's not there. He's gone AFK. I can't raid an AFK person. <laughs> oh. Where do you guys want to go? What's the most similar thing to this? Oh, what was that? That was uh, Noob. Thank you, Noob, for using your Twitch Prime. I appreciate that very much. The free Bezos Bucks. And they say, am I late to the stream? I'm afraid you are. We're just finishing. Sorry, noob. I appreciate the sub, though. That's very kind. We'll be back next week. Uh, most people are saying Ravs. I think we've got more Ravs than anyone else. So let's check it out. Let's see what he's up to. I don't know what the long dark is, but let's find out. Let's go say hi. I will catch you all next week, guys. Thanks for, thanks for coming. I think it was good fun. Uh, I'll be streaming, obviously, Warhammer on Wednesday with Tom, with something new and exciting that I can't talk about, but I'm sure you'll love it. Um, and then more, more of my own stream on Thursday, and maybe a bonus one in between. Follow me here or on Twitter to get notified if I do a bonus stream. And I'll see you next time. Bye!